Hello everyone and welcome to Monday. Starting the vlog off in the car, in the parking lot of D Dickies. There it is, Dickies, which is a, uh, it's actually a chain and, and this particular one has been here for a while but I've never actually eaten here. We have so many barbecue places um, that we have frequented that are around the area. Um, particularly we go to Barbecue House and Mission Barbecue a lot which are within a few hundred feet from this one uh, that we decided to finally try Dickies today, and it was good. Um, I didn't actually get any shots in there, but it, well, it's a barbecue restaurant, you can imagine. Uh, it was it was pretty good. They had uh, daily specials, so like depending on what, you're, what day you're here, uh, they have a special for that day. And the other thing is that they have a free ice cream machine. I didn't get ice cream, but Mal, Mal decided the root beer float last night was uh, not, not enough. enough ice cream. Not enough ice cream. Um, we've uh, we've been doing some errands, which is why we're out today, and uh, we've accomplished quite a bit. We had old modems from the ISP that we needed to return to the ISP, and um, I had kind of forgotten about them. But then they showed up on my bill, and they were they were charging me a uh, hundred dollars, and I was like, oh, yeah, I, I can give that back. So I took that back. They took it off my bill. Um, they actually changed some stuff in their system to make my bill cheaper. Hopefully that'll stick. Uh, and then we also had to go to the DMV to update our licenses with our new address. Um, because and we, our real ID. That's the other thing, is that uh, a few, how long ago was like it? Six years, six, more. Multiple years ago, the U.S. introduced real ID, which is the thing to make your uh, license slash driver's license um, your identification slash driver's license uh, more secure and is they're switching over to a thing where you will need a real ID in order to fly domestic flights. If you don't have a real ID or to get into um, government buildings government and buildings, military, military bases. Yes. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have those, you have to use a passport. So even if we were flying inside the country uh, and we wanted to fly to like California or whatever, we would need a real ID. So they've been asking the states to put this through and to do this, and South Carolina has asked for extensions like four times? It's Our, been yeah. years and years and years. It's been like at least four years since I've been like, did it ever go through? Did we meet a deadline? And I've had to check every time we fly to see if I need to also bring our passports. Yeah. And sometimes I've brought the passport just in case, even though we didn't need it. So... So anyway, we, we decided today that since we had to change our stuff anyway, that we would finally do it. So now we have real IDs. And all that really means is that there's a little gold star, <laughs> a little gold star on your license. So we took care of that and uh, we got some lunch. We got to go grab some food for Kip because he's running low on food. And then the big agenda for today is to record Walking Dead. Woo. I'm very excited. Uh, the final season of Walking Dead, season four, um, and the conclusion, you know, of, of the whole thing, uh, came out, I guess, at this point, a few months ago, and we finally get to, well, actually, no, I take it back. It started coming out many months ago. It just got finished a few months ago, and uh, we're going to be playing it today. I'm looking forward to it. I don't know if we'll get through the whole thing today. Probably not, because it's like, I read it's about nine to 10 hours long, so we'll probably do half today and then God willing half tomorrow. But tomorrow is also when we should have our furniture, so I guess we'll see, it's kind of a toss up. But for now, cat food and then lots of zombies. When we were at PetSmart picking up food, Mallory spotted this little toy set for cats, I guess, slash dogs. And uh, it was gamer oriented and Mal was like, we have to get this. So it came with a little shooting star and this, ball which we have plenty of but it also came with a uh, Mario question mark block <laughs> a, a mushroom and like it's not officially licensed so like I understand that they can't um, you know reproduce like the Mario one but this is just so funny to me it's got big googly eyes and then also a super famicom controller which is really funny. And this also has ridiculous googly eyes. So uh, <laughs> the cats can finally play games with us in their own special way. You wanna play games? Huh? You wanna play a game? There you go. This is, this is how we're gonna get you started playing Super Mario World. <laughs> get it. Ready? Get it, Sagan. Ha, <laughs>
What? What is it? <laughs> <laughs> He's having fun with that. Here you go. Get that thing. <laughs> anyway, just thought that was that was cute, and Segan is having a, a good time dragging that all over the floor. Now we should get to the zombies. Hello, everyone, and welcome back. It has been a while. A while. Hours later, and the cats are still having a blast with these toys. And by the cats, I mean mostly Segan, but Kepler watches. And at some point, he'll probably like play on his own when no one's watching, because he, he tends to do that. Uh, we managed to record half of The Walking Dead tonight. It probably would have been a little bit more, but the computer was not cooperating. We experienced, I don't know how many crashes, quite a few crashes. Um, if, with any luck, people won't really know this. Um, we try to do everything as, as seamless as possible, and Dan understands that, so we don't really draw attention to it, because um, we don't want to take people out of the story. But yeah, it's uh, not great. It's it's and the thing is, it's probably not even reflective of the game. It's just my my PC for whatever reason crashes. Uh, when Jeff was here in January slash December, he looked at it and ran all these stress tests and could not find anything going wrong, and yet it it still happens. So I don't know what exactly the issue is. Uh, it makes recording a PC game uh, pretty upsettingly difficult um, because you have to you know restart the computer and you don't know where the last time you saved was etc um, and we didn't really have a choice for this because it's importing the save from the other walking dead games and they were all on the pc but uh yeah it's, it's not ideal at some point i guess just at some point in the future i'll build a new pc um it's really not in the cards right now because there's so many other things to to worry about but it does make me reconsider projects, you know? Like, if I'm gonna do an entire project on PC versus a console, like, I wanna do it on PC, but if it's gonna crash all the time, I'm, I don't know if I wanna do that. Anyway, uh, Walking Dead is good, um, not happy. Heavy. It's heavy, it's really heavy. Um, I think so far, I mean, we've only played half of season four right now and it's already better than season three. Like it's, it's, it's really good. I've, I've really enjoyed it thus far. And uh, with any luck, we'll play it. We'll, we'll hopefully record the rest of it tomorrow. Um, but we also are getting our furniture tomorrow, hopefully. So uh, I guess we'll get the furniture, record, and then use the end of the evening tomorrow night to um, set up some of the furniture. That's the goal. Otherwise, tonight we're finishing up the uh, leftover tacos that we had the other night when uh, Lindsay, Dan, and Paul were here. And then we'll get some rest, breakfast stream in the morning, and like I said, pretty, pretty big day tomorrow. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, let's meet back tomorrow. Ciao.